Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today the topic of the video is to talk about first aid. I got a lot of requests in this video. So first aid is basically a book that is used by US MLE aspirants, but but you can use it for FMG, NEED PG or INICD. Now comes how you can use first aid for your FMG preparation. So if you guys don't know me, hi, I am Keshav. I scored 206 in January 2023 exam. Okay, now coming to the first aid properly. So first aid is a book or you can say it's a book that contains all the important points, all the high yield points and it is set of concise notes. So tumhara kaam bach gaya, tumhye concise nahi karna pad raha already first aid tumhye karke de raha. Okay, because learning everything is not important, learning what's important is the main thing. Okay, ye key hai for any exam, kisi bhi exam ko tumhye crack karna. Sab jana MBBS year mein was okay, but during exam you should know ki kya topic pe tumhye zada time dena hai, kya topic pe tumhye zada apni energy deni hai. Kyunki jo important hai, us pe tumhye zada energy doge, zada time doge, obviously your score will be better. But koi topic hai, jo rarely poucha gaya, and us pe tumhye zada time laga doge, so it will be a waste of time, because se koi question nahi aara. So you should know what's important, you should know what topics are commonly asked, and you have a set of notes us cheez ke liye. So first aid is a little bit of work, you have to do only a little subject. Now coming to the benefits, I already mentioned concise notes. So no extra time required to make it concise because you are giving it to me. Now coming less pages, less anxiety. Obviously, first aid is just 600 or 650 pages book. So to revise it will be very easy, easy to revise. And less pages, so anxiety will be less because if you uh, again read it from main resource or to main videos if you are using any resource you have just have a medicine of 600 pages or 650 pages ke notes honge. and first aid in just 600 pages mein 7 subjects covered. so obviously less pages, less anxiety easy to revise because less content because I only high yield points and I don't have anything else to do with it now it takes also less time to revise because content less hai, pages less hai, time bhi less hi leke revise karne mein. so you can do more frequent revisions jitni zyada revision utta better score ye kisi bhi ek exam ka funda hota hai jitni tum revisions karoge utta zyada score aayega another thing is everything is given at one place abhi main isko explain karunga later so sari cheeze ek hi saath de rakhi so it will be easy to connect everything and it will be easy to understand a particular topic okay so first state is a 600 pages book around see if you can see यहाँ पे 828 आता है but यहीं तक तुम्हारी book है and यहाँ से start ही होता है so 650 के around pages हैं इसके अंदर and it covers your seven subjects your biochemistry your microbio your pathology your pharma your medicine and even your psychiatry also okay so biochemistry microbio pathology pharma medicine psychiatry seven subjects are covered Okay, and this may jo it was systemic wise like cardio, endocrine, gastroenterology. So first they'll teach you physiology, then they'll teach you pathology, then teach you pharma and wohi pura integrated karke isme de So system wise is given in first aid. Let me give you an example. Let's start with the biochemistry thing. Okay. So biochemistry mein sabne cycles padhi hai. Sari cycles padhi hai. Krebs cycle padhi hai. Gluconeogenesis padhi hai. Fatty acid synthesis padhi hai. Everything you know. Okay. So first aid news mein kya kiya? In just one page, in just one page, all the cycles are given, and you see, you are connect kar rahe ho, kaise sare dots connected hai, everything in a single page. If you can see, this is glycolysis, yahan se glycolysis gaya, then comes the TCA cycle, yahan pe. then comes ketogenesis, and here comes protein synthesis, and then lipid metabolism and urea cycle. So, you can easily connect the dots, you can easily understand. Kaha se kya start wa, kaha se kya bana. Everything is given in just one single page. That's the benefit of using first aid. First, iska benefit kya hua? Since every, all the cycles are given in one page, so visual memory, obviously, jab tumhara question aayu, you'll be easy to remember because you know ki how everything was connected. Second, easy to connect everything, like I mentioned it before. And now, taking an example of microbiome. Okay, you know Clostridium species are important for an exam. What first aid did is all the Clostridium species in just one page. So benefit again, everything in one page, easy to connect, easy to revise. Third, you can differentiate because microbiome is all about differentiating between the organisms and a lot of organism looks same. 
बट यू शुड नो हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दैम यही है एग्जाम का फंडा सारी चीज़ें एक पेज पे सो यू कैन ईजली डिफ्रेंशिएट की हाउ दिस स्पीशीज इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस वन एंड टू मेक इट मोर हाइल्ड सिंस इट्स ऑलरेडी हाइल्ड टू मेक इट मोर हाइल्ड आई जस्ट हाईलाइटेड इट एंड उससे जस्ट वेन हैव टू रिवाइज इट नेक्स्ट आई जस्ट हैव टू रिवाइज दीज हाईलाइटेड पॉइंट्स एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज टू मेक इट मोर हाइल्ड सो बेसिकली हाउ यू कैन इंक्रीज द दिस हाइल्ड थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज सॉल्व योर पी वाई क्यूज गेट टू नो वॉट टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट गेट टू नो वॉट थिंग्स आर यूजली आस्क फ्रॉम द टॉपिक and then read the first in and these if these things are written very well good if not written just write it in a separate place like here i wrote okay and uh, same goes with here here prevention is usually asked in fmg exam but it was not given in the first year so i just so i just pasted a sticky note and just i wrote it there so yeah that's all so that's main thing i have to learn for clostridia everything in one page again i li- like i mentioned like i mentioned it will e- it will give you a benefit so you can uh, you know differentiate between the species if you can see here salmonella is given here salmonella except typhi is given here and shigella is given here you can easily differentiate between these three species everything in one page and uh, so the thing that i highlighted is the main thing that i usually forget or the main thing from which question is usually asked so usme maine high yield se aur high yield bana diya एंड जो मटीरियल रह गया था थोड़ा बहुत आई जस्ट रोट इट हेयर सेपरेट हेयर ताकि एट द एंड आई जस्ट हैव टू रिवाइज दिज दीज मैनी पेजेस एंड माई सेवन सब्जेक्ट्स आर रेडी सो दैट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग फर्स्ट एड नाउ टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फिजोलॉजी ओके फिजोलॉजी में एवरी वन नोज द नेफ्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट फिजोलॉजी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्ट सो दिस नेफ्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट फिजोलॉजी एवरीथिंग इज गिवन इन वन पेज विद इमेजेस सो इट विल बी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लस एवरीथिंग इज गिवन ऑन अ सिंगल पेज मैं कितनी बार रिपीट करूंगा इसको पता नहीं बट या ये बेनिफिट है नाउ कमिंग टू मेडिसिन पार्ट जो मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्क होता है कि हाउ टू स्टडी मेडिसिन मेडिसिन इज अ वेरी वास्ट सब्जेक्ट इफ यू आर स्टडिंग फ्रॉम एनी रिसोर्स एनी ऑनलाइन रिसोर्स ओनली जस्ट सिंपल मेडिसिन विल टेक यू अर हंड्रेड और सिक्स हंड्रेड पेजेस दैर इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिवाइज एट द एंड ऑब्वियसली सिक्स हंड्रेड पेजेस इज नॉट एजी टास्क टू रिवाइज बट इन फर्स्ट स्टेट इन जस्ट सिक्स हंड्रेड पेजेस your seven subject is covered including medicine 80% is covered 20% you just have to write it uh, on a sticky note or you can just take an a4 sheet or usme tum likh sakte ho but 80% medicine is covered so medicine is basically comprised or made by three pieces three first piece physiology second piece pathology and third piece pharmacology let me give an example okay so this is an example of cushing syndrome you can see etiology is given cushing syndrome etiology is given findings are given diagnosis are given this uh, diagnosis protocol is given so almost all the medicine part is given the only thing left was the treatment part even treatment was also given but not uh, uh, usually asked in the exam okay so main diagnosis is given everything is given for the treatment i just took a paper or a sticky note i just wrote it here now my cushing syndrome notes are ready in just n- not even a full page in just half a page everything is written there and i pasted this sticky note and jo hail se aur hail se maine bana diya okay and uh, now giving you other example okay so no everyone knows ki uh, trauma is a very important topic jo head trauma is a very 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 important topic so again everything is given on a single page epidural subdural subarachnoid and intraperitoneal kind in each arm se ek question 110% aata hi aata hai even along with images so tumhe images bhi alag se nahi karni just by first aid your notes are ready your images are ready so you know is basically sab cheeze tumhe combine karke de raha you just have to read and you just have to revise that's it and uh, yahan pe if you can see images are already given yahi images mostly puchi jati hai same yahan pe yahi images that are most commonly asked in exam so now everything is ready you don't have to go somewhere else you just have to annotate first aid once initially it will be it it will look difficult because it has no concepts it has all the factual things and all the important points and usme maine aur highlight karke so aur important bana diya like i mentioned minimal meningeal artery is commonly asked then second due to skull fracture is given the lucid interval is present so i just mark the most important is ke andar bhi so taki jab next revise karu i just have to revise the highlighted part and i am ready to go now how you can read medicine if you are starting new so i would suggest watch video from whatever resource you are using okay so watch the video 
and then instead of annotating in your notes your uh, app notes go to first aid and annotate directly it there so now if you are reading let's say again Cushing syndrome so just watch the video of Cushing syndrome and then open your first aid and just annotate it here so again you don't have to go long way ki video dekhi then tumne app ke notes use ke then first aid pe ke directly go to first aid and wahan pe annotate kar okay now coming to the pharmacology part most of the pharmacology is already covered jo disease based treatment hoti is already given coming to proper pharmacology pharmacology part for this just end me in the end of the chapter in the end of system they are already given the proper pharmacology part let's take an example of diabetes okay so diabetes all the drug classes are given here and all the mechanisms are given here and all the adverse effect is given here so you can see like all your medicine is almost covered just 20 percent will be left you can just write it somewhere else or like me you can just write it in the sticky notes and paste it there only but don't write any concepts on a paper and paste it there no because ये 600 हंड्रेड पेजेज जैसे सिक्स हंड्रेड पेजेज ही रहने दो अगर तुमने इसमें कॉन्सेप्ट एड करना स्टार्ट करे दिक सिक्स हंड्रेड विल बिकम ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड अगेन वही सेट ऑफ नोट्स हो जाएगा फॉर योर कंसेप्चुअल थिंग तुम्हारे पास नोट्स हैं जब कभी यूज हो यू कैन यू कैन गो टू यूट्यूब वॉच द वीडियो यू कैन ओपन योर मेन नोट्स वहाँ से तुम देख सकते हो बट फर्स्ट एड को कंसाइज ही रहने दो उससे आगे मत करो सो आई थिंक दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड होप यू वाइज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड द लिंक फॉर द फर्स्ट एड बुक is in the description box to so, amazon se wahan se buy kar sakte ho and another thing i already uploaded a lot about first aid on my instagram so a lot of students ask for my first aid to manual annotate kariye so the link of that pdf is in description box and in the first comment you can just get it from there so yeah that's all hope you guys liked it agar koi doubt ho you can just write in the comment section or you can message on instagram see you guys in the next video bye bye take care all the best